What's up, everybody? Y'all already know. It's Shea Bell back again. Um, I wanted to do an inspirational video today because I know, you know, we're trying to get back in the groove of uploading it at least once a week. Um, disclaimer, if y'all hear my dog in the back, it's because she literally sitting like right here. And she just like to bark. She like to bark at everybody that walk by or who she hear. And then, excuse my little raggedy ceiling. Don't look over here. It's a little raggedy. And then, um, what else? Oh, try I've been doing this for five years and still been forgetting. Please do not request any reactions up under this video because, you know, we're just trying to give y'all encouragement. If you want to see uh, a reaction or you want to request something, please do that up under our most recent reaction video or anyone. It doesn't matter. We'll hopefully get to it. Okay, so let me not be goofy because I'm in a silly goofy mood. Let me try to be serious. But today I want to talk to y'all about stress. Because let me tell you, stress, it's not good. Like, and I know you probably like, well, duh, that's obvious it's not good. But when you really break it down, stress can literally kill you. Like, you'll be sitting here. I'm going to give y'all an example. You'll be sitting here, you know, like, for instance, if you're in school and you know you need to study, you got this big paper or project coming up and you stressing about it because it's like oh oh my goodness how am i gonna get this done what am i gonna think of how how am i gonna put this together i don't think i have enough time to do all of this you just sitting that and you stressing yourself out and the thing that i ask myself all the time when it comes to like situations like that is is this test homework assignment project situation or whatever it is is it stressing over me if it's not stressing over me, I'm not going to stress over it because I don't have the luxury of time to put my energy into so many things that's just part of life. Like honestly, I when you master not giving your attention to things that really don't matter and and you understand not to put your energy in people or in situations that it's not going to matter in the matter of either seconds or in the future like you're going to get older and look back 10 years from now saying to yourself that didn't matter why was i stressing it, where did it get me today it didn't get me anywhere so I wouldn't stress over it. Now, I understand certain things are part of life. It can give you anxiety. It can give you stress because it's in that moment. And that's totally understandable. I'm not telling y'all, oh, don't stress at all, blah, 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 blah. No, because I would be sitting up here telling you not to do a human action that's normal. There are some things that will get you stressed. Just try not to really get yourself worked up to the point where it's starting to affect either your physical spiritual or mental health because it's not worth it it definitely isn't worth it and then like today for example another example today when um my mom earlier she was taking my blood pressure just to see like if the machine was working and she was like girl you got good blood pressure you need to keep it like that i said that's because i don't let people stress me out and that's true i don't let people stress me out I don't let um, other things stress me out. Like this past school year, um, of course y'all know with you know our grandma and stuff like that. It, it was very hard trying to get through school and having that fresh on my mind or whatever. But I said, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna stress. I'm not gonna let my schoolwork stress me out because at the end of the day, when I lay down. I'm I'm not going to be worried about that. I'm I'm not going to be worried about whatever it is that I needed to do because it's said and done, it's over with. And then if that situation or whoever it is stressing me out, they're going to get me into heaven. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? So I'll be like, forget it. I don't need it. <laughs> you can keep it. So I'm just going to tell y'all today, just try not to stress. Let me put it that way. Try not to stress over the small things. Um, and if you do stress, just make sure you monitor yourself and you take care of yourself because it can really get bad and stress can escalate into anxiety. Anxiety can escalate into depression. Depression can escalate to, you know, other possibilities that we don't even want to think about, but it's not worth it. It's not worth your precious time. It's not worth your health. It's not worth 
anything. So if you find yourself stressing a lot, just ask God, God, I don't want to stress. Give me your peace about the situation because I don't like feeling like this. I do it all the time when there is something and I'm like, okay, God, you know, it's trying to get to me. I just say, whoa, let me step back. Let me pray. Let me ask God for his peace. And he, he give me his peace. I can I can truthfully say he gives me his peace. And I have a calm demeanor about it. After that, I just go on about my day. I don't worry about it anymore because what is worrying going to do? What is that going to help? It's not going to help nothing. <laughs> so I try not to do it. Now, of course, I'm not perfect. Perfect. Excuse me. Of course, I'm not perfect. But there are some things that at a young age i have already learned like hey you know do this or don't do this for example my grandma used to tell us all the time don't play on y'all knees y'all gonna need them when you get older i stopped playing on my knees and i can i can say today that my knees they ain't dark because I, I ain't been jumping on them and i don't do that no more <laughs> so they function very well she told us she was like because mm -mm, you see how my knees be acting up so i said mm -mm, i don't want my knees to be like grandma knees so <laughs> let me stop playing on them so i stopped so when i've learned things like that learn not to stress as much learn not to worry as much learn not to jump down on my knees like i ain't got no sense you know <laughs> you you just get a better sense of growing in your personal life and you you find yourself more calm and laid back, not really too much getting worked up over stuff. Now, I understand some things can aggravate you. That's a little different because it's like, ooh, whoever it is or whatever it is, it's just getting on your nerves to the point where you just want mm, to, to the situation, to the people. Y'all know we real. Sometimes these folks out here, boy, them, you be on the but you got to be like, God, mm -mm. So it's the same thing with stress. People can aggravate you, but you got to say, Jesus, give me your peace. Some can stress you out, but you got to say, Jesus, give me your peace. So that's about it, y'all. I just want to come to y'all and let you know that stress, it ain't nothing that, you know, can't be handled. If it gets really bad, honestly, talk to somebody. Talk to whoever. Y'all can talk to us. Y'all can talk to family members you trust or friends you trust. Whoever just get you somebody that's going to listen and have an opening ear. And they will literally give you advice or help you in whatever you need. Because sometimes you need to get away. Sometimes all you need is somebody to listen to. And sometimes you simply just need to be by yourself to relieve stress. And if, if that's the case, do what works for you. If you got to get outside and run a 5K marathon, do that. If you got to get outside and, and, and hit jumping jacks and cartwheels 50 times in a row back to back to relieve stress, do that. If you got to go pet a snail outside, do that. Do what you need to to relieve stress. Make sure it's legal, okay? <laughs> And make sure it's legal. Because I don't want y'all to be like, mm, Shay from the Riddle said we can do anything to relieve stress. No, ma'am. No, sir. Mm -mm. Make sure it's legal. Because I like my freedom. And I'm pretty sure you do too. So let's, let's not do illegal things out here, guys. Let's make sure that we do legal things to relieve stress. Draw, color, paint, pick up a new hobby. Listen to music like I do. No, I'm just kidding. But if that helps, listen to music, make music, write a song. Um, I don't know. Drive a car. If that if that helps you relieve stress, do that. Different things work for different people. So yeah, that's my little inspiration video. I hope y'all liked it. I ain't did one in a while. Oh my god. I ain't did one in a while. And I just want to encourage y'all. Um, so yeah, keep God first. Remember to ignore the breadcrumbs. Live your life and ignore the breadcrumbs. Um, more love, less hate. Gotta remember. <laughs> more love, less hate. And read God's word. Whatever revelation that he gives to you, let him give it to you. And you go by that. You live by that. And yeah, there will be more inspiration videos in the future coming. We, Like I said, we're trying to pick it back up for at least once a week because child 
you know, we we don't just do reactions. We try to give y'all inspiration because first, that's what God has led us to do. And second, everybody needs some inspiration every now and then, you know. Every, reacting and everything is, is very fun to us, but sometimes we get down as well. And firstly, when we do these inspirational videos, we be talking to ourselves because we need the advice. So if we can give it to others and while giving it to others, it helps us, then if we ain't, if nobody else get nothing out of it, we know that we do. So thank y'all so much for watching. And um, yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Chloe. Clo. Say bye, Chloe. You gonna say bye? Say bye.